So, Samina recorded the times in minutes and girls took to do a jigsaw puzzle. Samina used her results to work out the information in this table. On the grid, draw a box plot to show the information in the table. Now what you need to do before you start is check how many squares make 5. And we can see we've got 10 little squares making 5. So therefore 2 small squares will stand for 1. So I'll just draw that larger. So add 2 small squares, so if that was naught, then that would be 1. So we must bear that in mind when we start plotting the points. In case you weren't sure where I got the 5 from, it's from between 10 and 15. So 10 and 15 is 5, 10 squares, so 2 squares for 1. Now on to uh, plotting the points then. So if we come to the shortest time first, 18, well 18 will be, um, if you work back from 20, it's probably quicker, so 2, 4 squares back from 20. So with a ruler, you draw a better line than I can with my finger on this iPad, but you've got to mark it in one square in, uh, four squares in from the 20. So that's where your uh, 18 goes. Now your lower quartile 25, that's fairly easy to do. So mark that on the 25. Then the median at 29 will be two squares before 30. So let's mark that in next. And then the upper quartile at 33. Well, we're at 32 and a half in the halfway point, so one past that will be 33. And then finally the longest time, 44. Well, 44, it's going to be two squares before 45. And there we have our five marks. And that's just a question of drawing the box in the middle. Again, do this with a ruler in the real exam. And drawing the stems out to meet. So that's the, uh, that's the box plot to show the information about the jigsaw puzzle. The second part of the problem, we are shown a boys' box plot and we are asked to compare the distribution of girls' times and boys' times. So you can see clearly that the girls um, have the higher median, so the girls are taking more time to do the jigsaw. So we'll make that statement first. In fact, we can say that the girls on average take three minutes longer, because if you look at the median, the boys' time is 26 minutes and the girls' time is 29, so a difference of three. Now there are a lot of um, second statements you can make, but uh, really you should make a statement about the spread. If you use the range, that's the difference between the, uh, the lowest score and the highest score, then you can see that the girls is more spread out. But if you use the interquartile range, the girls is only slightly smaller. So as long as you refer to the um, correct statistic, um, make the correct statement, you'll get the mark. So I'm going to make a statement about the interquartile range um, being similar. So I'm saying that the interquartile range is similar and the girls is just one minute less. Okay, that's box plot.